Hi, welcome back YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shop bringing you some more CFM gameplay footage. This is uh, week two of the CFM that I joined. Uh, like I said, you guys can be in the CFM. You just have to go to the, uh, the link in the description below, follow the YouTube channel that the CFM is based on, and uh, comment in one of the videos that you're interested. So if you want to be in the CFM, if you're on PlayStation 4, do that. Link in the description below. Or if you just want to follow to see what the league, what the league's like, what the league's doing, uh, maybe think about it. You know what I mean? Maybe you're not ready to be in the league. Um, other than that, uh, we're this is week number two that I'm in right now, uh, and I got to be honest, I make some changes in this game to my team. Uh, that's my quarterback right now. Some dude, I, I, I changed his name to Hyde Dunkachud <laughs> or something like that, which is an old joke off a of Key and Peele episode. Either way, this play right here, I can't really put this on Hyde Dunkachud, really. Um, that was a bad pass, but the truth of the matter is, uh, I'm so used to playing with Michael Vick in uh, in Mutt, he can make that throw. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he would float that ball out. And it's a bit of a, it's a process. Like, I've been using Michael Vick for so many games for so long. Um, it's a process that I really got to get used to these other quarterbacks. Either way, uh, you're going to see I make a change in this game anyway. Uh, so, second and 11, he converts it. You're going to see him. He even fits some tight windows, man. He gets some, like... Completely covered throws that his his receivers just catch. And that's what's good about the Chargers. The Chargers have a great receiving core. As you can see right there, I get a nice blitz off the edge. I just put that blitz out too, by the way. So third and 19, he's looking pretty desperate. I don't know why I chose his defense because I don't typically run his defense, but it worked out. Gotcha, bitch. As you can see there, I get a nice user pick. Um, you know, that was a cover three. I typically don't call cover three in that formation, but you know what? It looked good at the time, and I guess I picked it right. So first and ten. This is the last time you're going to see how dunk a Joe on my team. Look at that throw. I had to bench his ass right then and there. I give my rookie Dan Smith uh, a try, and he's i got to be honest. This, this rookie right here, his stats aren't all that, but it's just, this is his first pass, and that's right, baby. Look at that. Ten yards behind the line. It's official. I got a new starting QB. And you're going to see right now, he makes a lot of plays in this game, too. So I think I went with the right decision. I even went as far as to trade that quarterback. That quarterback that I had uh, was a 95 overall. As you can see, I got a nice pass interference there. That's, that's you know, I, I let that guy in the game right there, getting a pass interference with uh, a 95 overall Chris Harris, which is complete nonsense. Um, here, I, I don't, he kept beating me up on the flats on the previous play, especially. So I chased, and I just left the middle wide open. And then here again, man, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just leaving my zone. I eventually ratcheted it down a little bit, uh, but right there, not looking too good. So this is supposed to be an outside run, but you know what? He's just showing me his ass right there. He's just spreading them cheeks for me. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going I'm to run a hurry up, and I'm going to run it right up the gut. Um, you know, and this is what you got to do. This is, this is called reading a defense. <laughs> if somebody comes out in a defense like this, uh, you just gotta pound it, and even though the second down didn't work out, I'm gonna take my chances that the third down or the third attempt is gonna work out. So we're going for it again, second and ten. Gonna go ahead. We're gonna try to pound it again. I don't even know if this is the type of defense. It looks like a dollar or something. I don't even know how much you can really pinch this line. Uh, I try to go outside. Look at that massive block. That is a gorgeous block uh, by my fullback there. Yeah, that was just disgusting. I, I don't know. This My fullback, I think, is actually a running back that somebody made a fullback, and he's not very good. All good, though. Third and 15, I completed with one of my favorite money plays. Um, uh, just a fantastic play. And then here, I had that. You know what I'm saying? I, I just should I should have set my feet a little better, pass led outside. That was a, a gorgeous read because that's not even part of my read system. Uh, but that was a total man beater, and it was there. So third and eight, I go for it on a run. I actually switch it up because, once again, he's not respecting my run. So we're going to go back into this uh, merry round of me calling uh, calling a hurry up i'm not even sure if this is against the league rules if you want to know the truth about it most leagues don't let you run hurry up over and over and over which is one of the reasons i hate leagues but this league's pretty laxed on rules um if you guys are thinking about joining it's, it's pretty good on that and, and on that respect and the commissioner is pretty cool about helping out new uh people he'll pump your players up a little bit you know help you out with some players and stuff like that um so you don't come in with a completely buster squad if you ask him nice uh which is pretty cool like i said really cool commissioner uh, i'm really enjoying this league i'm not gonna lie this is a really i'm having a good time in this league uh but the reason i, let, I wasn't doing leagues is because i just don't have time uh either way we're rolling the ball down the field right now uh second and seven this play is so good i need better running back you know what i'm saying i like the running back i got and you're gonna see him make some plays in this game but overall I, I feel like i need a better running back so here once again for some reason i'm thinking let's just get the first down 30 inches let's just be smart and my man right here gets caught at the line carries three defenders like a madman carries the entire niner team 
That's a crazy play, man. This guy, and that's not the best play of the game this guy makes. You're going to see this guy right here, uh, Devoin Shower Handle, make some crazy ass plays as this game continues. So here we go. I'm thinking that this game could be basically put away um, if I just get a couple of stops. And this guy's got a nasty running back, too. I was looking at this guy. This guy with the Chargers right now, he quits pretty, pretty quickly in this league uh, because I was actually trying to work a deal with the new Chargers owner, and uh, he's got a nasty ass running back you're going to see quite a bit. Now, look at this block right here. He blocks two guys. Like, who is that left tackle? Is that like Jesus Christ himself? Holy crap. Dude, dude took on two men. Like, he, he blocked me and the and defensive end. Um, so here we go. He's still driving. Run the ball, man. He should have stuck with it. I'm going to tell you right now because he eventually gets caught up uh, not doing that. As you can see right here. Look at that. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> what kind of shit is that? Yeah, he should have kept with the run because he was doing really good. Then if for some reason, he decides to pass. I mean, it would have been lucky if he would have caught it. But either way, fourth and seven, he's going for it. I'm not even sure if this is against the rules or not. But we're going to get that user pick myself. And I'm going to go down because I don't want to get on the one. You got to be smart with the ball. So I, I got down there uh, just to make sure I didn't get the ball at the one or something stupid. And then you're going to see this guy go off. This dude is like straight up invoking some of the all-time greats right now. The voice shower handle. This guy right here, I mean, he just, oh my goodness, that was that was a hell of a run. If I thought that first run was good, he's just playing with a chip on his shoulder today. So that puts the game in a position where I'm thinking, like, I can start making this game out of reach, 21-7. Uh, but this guy right here, I'm not going to lie, he does this quite a bit where he just keeps himself in the game. I don't know what I was thinking there. I was thinking there, I'm going to slow this dude up and maybe get somebody to help me out, and he just ran right by me. I found out later the dude at a 95 speed, and that's why... Boy, that escalated quickly. Yeah, 95 speed, man. Uh, the, the, the safety that I used that he ran right by was an 86 speed or something like that, I think. So here we go. We're taking off with Dan Smith. This guy right here, he is such a monster. Uh, like I said, I got this guy in the third round. I didn't, I didn't put that in the uh, in the video when I made my offseason uh, review, but I drafted him in the third round, and he's actually playing pretty good. So first and ten. Look at those monstrous-ass blocks right there, as he must have guessed past because they just rolled his ass over. And I'm thinking I'm going to get that type of look again. So I come out right away. I'm going to go back into that hurry up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make him pay for that. But realistically, like I said, he probably gets passed, which is why. Because I don't think I have the same success on this down. Um, we're going to go ahead and give it a try anyway. So this is this is actually LeGarrette Blunt. I use him quite a bit. He's pretty good, too, um, to give uh, my other man uh, um, a break every once in a while. So here we go, Dan Smith. I'm, I'm lauding him, but you know what? It's a fumble. Fumble liar. It looked like a pass to me, but hey, what can I say? <laughs> Man's going to do what he's going to do, you know? So I lose the ball there, no big deal, but I was really thinking like I could put this game away, and it really feels like it's going the wrong direction, but then you know what? He throws a pick right back. Jammy, jammy, jammy. This dude right here is a thug. I get a face mask penalty thing on top of that. I'm not even sure what that was, that flag. Uh, but either way, first and ten, we're taking off. I was seeing an alley here. I was thinking I could take that all the way with my man Dan Smith. Luckily, I didn't fumble. You can't make those type of uh, mistakes because uh, quarterbacks really have a tendency to fumble, but he held on to it. So first and goal, we're going to go with this outside toss, and look, here we go. Devo shower handle man he's just having a game of his life right now um this so it's so hard to get player of the week though like i feel like every week i have a guy that's capable of player of the week and i've only got it like once on offense out of five weeks in this league like i said this is week two but we're up to week five and i'm going to try to bring you guys every game um uh, but either way this is uh you know i have a couple i have like one or two sim wins too so here we go second and five um you know that's uh, 28 14 right there i'm still trying to put this game away i don't want to give this guy points and he almost gets it right there you know what i'm saying that was that i I have a lot of really good contested plays that save me big plays. Like right there, that probably would have been a touch or at least down to once a home to a field goal. But you know what? He leaves me three seconds and I got to play. This guy's been running cover four the whole game. I got to play for everything. Even if he was running prevent, this play would work. A roll out and you know what? Just a, He's just a foot behind the guy and he's gone. 35 to 17 at half. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much game. But uh, he's still got a chance. I mean, these are seven-minute quarters, uh, which is like one of my biggest complaints about this league is like the games are so damn long. So second and six, uh, you know, we got we to gotta stop him. I mean, this guy's been running hurry up most of the game because uh, for the most part, he's just been down. So he's really trying to, to get back in this game. This guy does not quit. He quits the league, but he doesn't quit this game. So here we get a nasty-ass pick. Look at that. That was perfect user timing pick.
The deflection was not me. The pick was me. That means that after it deflected and it hung in the air for like a split second, I came in with the perfect user timing and picked that off, off the booty cheeks, uh, much like Marshall Lattimore did right there. <laughs> off the butt cheeks. Uh, here we go, first and 10. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna try to get this go go ahead, put away touchdown. I mean, when I, I play Mutt quite a bit, I really play the clock more than anything. So it's weird for me to be in a league with these long quarters. I don't really, I could try to be like airing it out and bombing it out and put the guy away, but that's not how I play. I'm used to like four minute quarters in Mutt or five and of course and mutt whatever that is where it's really more important to put the game away than anything third and 11 here they said that was almost a pick how was that almost a pick? The, the, the computer afterwards was like, man, almost picked off. Like, what are you talking about? That looked like a touchdown to me. Either way, this guy, once again, he gets a nice, tight, squeeze catch. I don't know how he keeps getting those catches. I don't get those catches. Uh, but we're, you know, we're up fourth and three. He's, like I said, he fights, man. He stays in this game. A lot of this stuff he's doing is, is hurry up, and I'm editing it out for time. Uh, first and 10, you can see he goes right over that cover, too. That's the first time he went over that cover, too, by the way. He was really, um, you know, he could have been exploiting that cover, too, a lot better than he was. Here's another cover, too, and I just get out of position i don't know what i was doing there i get user basically he just you know i mean the game's to the point where it's out of reach maybe i got a little bit lazy on the sticks it happens you know what i'm saying but realistically i just got out of position he basically uh, posterized me there uh, he mossed me with like a six five wide out um <laughs> you know it happens like i said uh, for the most part i was probably just getting lazy third and nine up two touchdowns i'm still trying to put this game away every time it gets close i just got to put another touchdown in between us and we're gonna bomb it up again my man dan smith has a laser beam this dude is such a kid <laughs> he just chucks it up there for about 50 yards 60 yards in the air before it even comes down and we're gonna go ahead and take another another big lead so like i said he doesn't give up he's still fighting this is all hurry up like i said this guy's really trying to put pressure on me hurry up really does have a positive effect um he was trying to go for that that big one play you know toss up again um, but you can see the cover coverage was there and then on the next play throws a pick to my man Chris Harris Jr. That's the only pick Chris Harris Jr. has on the year. I'm in a position where like I'm not sure if I should re-sign him because he's like 31 um, his uh, his salary is like pretty high like he wants like 13 14 million for a year and I'm thinking like you know I could probably use that money towards free agents that are younger I have two good young corners so I don't really need him I got two two fake guys on here uh, that I gave stupid names that really play well Jamie Jamie you've seen uh, and another guy named Juxon who plays really well uh, but realistically like I need I need uh, you know I need other things so I don't know if I should spend that money I could if I don't spend that money I have like 60 million on the books as you can see I get another drop Man, we just get crazy drops all over this place. Uh, but yeah, like I said, tell me in the comment section if you guys think I should spend that money or save it for free agency. Because the last free agent cycle, there was not a lot of guys out there. As you can see, Dan Smith, man, trying to get that touchdown. I thought that was a first, but you know what? We're going to have to go for it. Fourth and inches, you're allowed even though I'm up. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try. And I'm going to fail. You know what? I shouldn't have done that, man. I just got to remember, I'm the Jets. At the end of the day, the Jets don't get those things. So here we go. <laughs> he's back against the goal line. I really should have been hard flatting. I figured it out just a split second too late, and he's taking it down the field on me. It's all good, though. We almost get another pick here. And you know what? It's just like my, my dude's hands. It's the computer. Like when I user it, no problem. When the computer does it, they're not giving me any gifts. So here he goes up and mosses me again. I mean, this dude has like... Seven foot receivers, I swear. They're just going up and making plays. And then, you know, in, in traffic, a lot of times, luckily, I get some nice hits to make the ball come out. Third and ten. We're going to go ahead. We're going to try to uh, to end this game with a stop. Um, and he, you know, like I said, he just keeps bombing it up. He's got those tall receivers. He's trying to use them. Fourth and ten. And you know what? Once again, tight coverage. He gets it. Breaks away. I think that's Keenan Allen with a nice play. But that's game. That's it. Uh, he scores a junk touchdown. He doesn't get the ball back. 45-31 is the final score. Uh, hit the like button if you want to see week three i got another good game on the docket and other than that that's it thanks for watching mad money shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below